Welcome to Foodweb's British Woodlands, a highly interactive simulation which investigates food web interactions in a classic British environment and proceeds to model those interactions over 25 years. After clicking through the title screen, we are presented with a new food web dialog. This can be accessed at any time from the file menu of a flask icon at the bottom left. In this dialog you may select the organisms you would like to start your food chain of web, load a previously saved web, start a blank food web, an option to display the names of organisms is also available. It's very easy to add or remove organisms using the organisms panel to the right after you've started your food web. You have access to the information panel at this time, so it's easy to check the prey and predators of any organism. We'll select a few organisms to start our web, fox, rabbit, and of course plants. To start constructing a web, click OK. To start constructing your chain of web, first select the prey organism by clicking on it. Since energy in the form of food always goes from prey to predator, so must our links. Next, select the predator. Incorrect links are normally shown in red, unless the teacher has set up a test situation. To remove any link or organism, select it, then press the delete key. We now have a complete food chain. Let's add some more organisms using the organism panel to the right. We'll add bank vole, blue tit, insects and shrew. Create a food web by linking in these new organisms. Note the displays at the bottom of the screen indicating information about your web and your total score. From this we can see that we have one unused link. We could use the information panel to check each organism and that is easy since all you have to do is hover over each to view its information. Or we can view report in the options menu which will supply incorrect and unused links. This report is not available while print only mode is set by the teacher. We'll just add the final link. Now we have a complete food web. We can use the modeling section to see how well we did. The goal is to produce a food web or chain in which all organisms survive for 25 years under normal environmental conditions. If not all your organisms last 25 years, then you need to change your food web to ensure all organisms can obtain enough food. After selecting model from the bottom of the screen, we can see a blank log 10 graph and model panel. Log 10 is the default format since it allows both small and very large numbers to be displayed at the same time. Now let's see if a food web is a good one. From the model web panel, select remaining to model our web for the full 25 years. We can stop the model at any time by selecting any model button. Here the year and next season are displayed together with the environmental conditions. This model section of the simulation is very powerful and models your web and not some theoretical one. We can even change our web at any time during modeling to simulate the introduction or removal of any organism. We'll just return to the construction screen using the web button at the bottom and introduce pheasant and stoat into the web. Return to model and continue modeling. You can see as we hover over the graph, a line helps us compare graphs and the environment data. Some of the other panels, which are described in detail in the next video, include Environment panel, where climate, farming, logging, gamekeeper and hunting and migration can be controlled. Start number panel where the actual start numbers of any organism can be altered. Graph panel, which enables us to view the graphs of selected organisms, which is great when you have a large web and wish to clearly see particular organisms. Finally, graph type panel, where we can select various graph types, including biomass pyramid. Visit our website for more information 
and to trial this and other programs, newbyte.com.